company. I haven't got long, though. Right, uh, so I've spoken to the kids, you know, see if they can shed some light. And it turns out it's just one of them, them daft day games gone wrong. Someone dared her to take drugs? Basically, Billy, just... It was just kids being kids. You know what they're like. Anything for a laugh. A laugh? Someone might not wake up from this. A life finished before it's even started. Right. Who gave her the spice? Look, you've got to remember, this is a joke that backfired. I mean, nobody set out to deliberately hurt her. You understand that? Who was it? Simon. Stupid. Oh, no, hang on, don't. She chose to do it. Nobody made her do it. She's a kid. So is he. Come on, Billy, what's wrong? Don't turn this into something it's not. I mean, I understand that, you know, you're probably oversensitive when it comes to drugs. What do you mean, Miller? Well, I... You know, I heard, same as everybody else, that, you know, your brother being a drug addict. Yeah, well, maybe that's how we got started, some stupid little prattle. Hey, don't, don't. All right, stop, stop, stop. All right, OK, forget it. That's it, I've heard enough. But I'm going to be reporting Simon to the police. You must have made her do it. She did it because she was upset. Yeah, because he's been picking on her. No, because of you and Todd constantly arguing. So if you're looking for somebody to blame, Billy, look a bit close to home, OK? Sorted. Ooh. You all right? What's up? It's weird pain in my... You're joking. Did that bloke stab you? No, don't punch it. Ah, no! Come here. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm. Just press, press on yeah. that, right? Just keep that pressure. Oh. Oh. OK. Mm. Uh, ambulance, please, quick as you can. Uh, Weatherfield Magistrates Court. We're in a taxi. You're doing well, mate. You're doing really well. Really well. Sorry. Yeah, well, so you should be getting all this blood all over Steve's taxi. He's gonna do his nut. <laughs> hey, hey, Billy. Hey, hey, mate. Hey, talk to me. Come on, talk to me. Come on. Tell. Tell Todd. <laughs> Tell Todd and some of that. I love him. Hey, you listen. When all this is sorted, you can tell him yourself, okay? Hey, mate, come on. Come on, you're doing really well. Stay with me, come on. I'm going to hell. Ah, no, no. Oh. Oh. I have to confess. Billy, just try and relax. Oh, I'm a liar. I have to tell you the truth. Shh, it's OK. The ambulance will be here in a minute. God's given me what I deserve. Nice and easy. I'm going to die in the car at the side of the road, just like <laughs> she did. Just try and relax, OK? It's all right. <laughs> Just let me die. Come on. Just like I did with Susan. And I heard I. Susan. Your sister. I killed her. We were driving too fast. We swear afterwards. She never stood a chance. I told Gareth to keep driving. Don't stop. We should have tried to help. Done something. But we didn't. We just left him for dead. When I found out it was Susan and I, the whole world fell apart. I tried to atone. Oh, 
tried so hard, but it's not enough. It's never enough. Praying for forgiveness. No. I don't expect that. Good. Would you want to go? Go? To talk. I've been doing a lot of that lately. Talking. Because knowing the truth is hard. Made me want to drink. I'm sorry. You would have been if I had. You might have another death on your hands. But then... Why hurt myself? When I can hurt you. Where are we going? He said you wanted to talk, so we're going to talk, only not here. I meant to be watching Summer in her concert. Not anymore. Get in. Sit down, here. Peter, I don't know what else to say. Believe me, if I could go back and put this right, I would. Who do you think that is? I'm so sorry. Who is it? Who is it, Billy? I want you to say her name. Susan. Susan. That's right. And here. And here. And here. Dad's got loads of pictures of her. Way more than he's got of me. Don't you think that's strange? Hmm? Me being her twin. It was like you said you... No, you don't no. want to be hurting yourself. Oh, no, no. It's not for me. If you feel as bad as you say you do, then you're going to need it. Looking through them. Take it from somebody who knows. Helps. Here, Peter. Drink. You do realise the start of my problems with alcohol was when Susan died. I mean, wasn't a full-blown alcoholic until Lucy died, that's Simon's mum, that it came back. But it was the day of Susan's funeral. That was the first day I needed a drink. To cope. I'm so sorry. Is that it? So, come on. Hey, anything else? No. No. There's nothing I can say. Right. Then drink. And maybe I should talk about how close we were or... Now, when people say twins feel each other's pain, it's true. And our part of me died with her. And that was the only thing that came close to filling that gap. And now I don't even have this. Why didn't you just let me die? You could have done. Yeah, yeah. I've been asking myself that. It's because you're a good man. Oh. You're better than me. Because if someone would have been proud. 
Don't you dare tell me what she would have been like. We'll never know now, will we? Hey? After what you did. Don't worry. Dad won't mind. See? Plenty more where that came from. There you go. No, no. You see, this is only the first part. I just wanted you to see that booze can work to dull the pain. Hey. But you don't feel so guilty anymore, do you? Hmm? But I don't want you to forget what you've done. I don't want anybody to ever forget what you've done. That's why, before I came, I went into Adam's office. I got Geraldine's number. Told her I had some information for her. Proof that you're not fit to be a parent. Something that will mean she can take Summer away. Susan never got a chance to see Adam grow up. So why should you get a chance to see Summer grow up? Please. But that's not all. Because now I want you to feel what Susan felt. They pronounced her dead on arrival at the hospital, but do you know what? Nobody could ever tell me how long she was conscious for. Exactly how long was it she was trapped in that car, thinking that her young son was dead or dying behind her, knowing that she was going to die herself? No. I want you to find out what that's like. Susan loved Christmas. I used to try and spoil it for her. Hated she saw something that I couldn't. She used to get this buzz, you know, this kind of, uh, this excitement weeks before. I was just out for what I could get. But Susan, Susan, she saw the magic. I need to get to church. One year. Must have been about six. I snuck downstairs, I opened the present. Every single one of them. And I tried to make it out as a joke. But looking back, I wanted to ruin it for her. Because I wanted to take away this thing that she had that I didn't. Pretended that it was hilarious. I'll never forget that look on her face. This disappointment. This sadness. What are you going to do? I'm going to make you understand what she went through. I don't want to die. I might deserve this, but... but what about Summer? What about Todd? Well, Adam. What about Susan? <laughs> what about Susan? They're playing your kind of tunes. I'll turn it off.
Peter, please. What are you going to do? I'm going to take the handbrake off. Then I'll put this car in reverse. I think you know the rest. It'll be quick. Quicker than it was for Susan. Joking. You can find your own way back. How you doing? Heard you give Eileen a bit of a scare earlier. From what I understand, that's not an easy thing to do. So, what happened? Why are we up in a cliff in any case? It's just clear in my head. Alone? So, uh, he fell. He slipped. He didn't jump, did you? I slipped. Todd. Have you heard from him? No. Why? Haven't you? I think he's taken summer. He's taken summer? Why? Just away. Christmas because of this. Seriously? They'll come back soon. It's tough. You must miss them. But hey, I'm here now. No. It's fine. Come on, Billy. We both know you're not fine. I'm a Todd not here to help you. I'm your man, okay? Trust me, you're in good hands. Okay. I thought you'd leave it, I Just working. I thought I might need some company. And comfort food. Oh, jeez. I don't really have much of an appetite. He's done that from Todd. What reason must there be for this? Hey, surprise! Oh. <laughs> Toya, let me go early. Hey. Oh, babes. 
Oh, terrible. <laughs> Thanks. But I've got something that might put a teeny smile on your face. Mm. Mm. Double page spread on Rihanna. <laughs> Come on, let's have a gander. I mean, can we just discuss those hot pants, please? Well, look who's back. Hey, Beth. Ain't you fell off a cliff? Yeah. I did that once in Aldi in Torrelinas. I was leathered, of course. I mean, luckily, it was high tide and everyone on the beach thought I'd dived in. Even got a round of applause. Great story, but I need to get this man horizontal. Yeah, I heard that a lot in Torrelinas as well. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Beth. Bye. Right, home sweet home. You heard from someone. Excuse me, he's just out of hospital. I'm aware of that. Why do you think I'm here? I haven't told him. I'm sorry, Todd, either. Sorry? Listen, uh, I'll deal with this. You get Billy inside, yeah? Yeah. I haven't heard from you for days. I'm just going to call you. My granddaughter's still missing. The police have found nothing. Just give me a couple of days. I'm going to do everything I can to find her. Here we go. Sorry, it's just butties. Oh, no, they'll be nice. Oh, we should have picked something up in the way. Trying to say about my butties? Crab paste. Well, it's all Eileen had in. Uh, look, I'm going to have to go to work after this, so you'll be all right with Billy. Well, uh, why don't we go to the pub and join her? With like this. Hmm. Is he manager's? Touché. Everyone's been asking after you. Toy and pizza especially. Oh, come on. Better than staying here, innit? I mean, no offence, Eileen. <laughs> all right, girls. A uh, flea bite, I think. <laughs> This place gets worse. Fancy a drink? Um, I'm working, so. Oh, pints a bitter for me, please. Coming up. Your good deed for the day, is it? Aye. Something like that. I probably shouldn't ask what that beer chucking was about earlier. Yeah, you'd be right. Oh, that looks painful. Yeah. I think I might take another pill, actually. Chill out, Lindsay Lohan. Still got half an hour to go. Can I get you anything else? Hey, no, I'm fine, thanks. I, no, I think I've had enough excitement for one day. Yeah, no worries. I'm taking Eve out after a shift anyway, so uh, we'll drink these and I'll take you home. Bethany, I mean, when was the last time we had a night out? Look, if we go out, we've got to pay somebody to cover, right? We're hardly making any profit as it is, Toya. Well, what's the point if we never see each other? OK, right, this is about me and Carla before. Yes, it is, yeah. Mm. I mean, what was all that in aid of? You seemed fine when you came in. Well, part of it was just winding you up. I mean, the look on your face when we walked in together. I'm not having an affair with Carla. I mean, you must know that. Look at the way she spoke to me. Did that sound like a woman in love? Come on. OK, well, if it's not Carla, then what is it? See ya. Yeah, yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, look, if there's anything we can do, Billy. Cheers. Oh, poor love. I mean, if that's him recovered, I'd hate to have seen him before. I didn't see how you are. No, I'm a bit fuzzy headed. The painkillers are kicking in. I was going to say, I've got some tablets you can have. I was being up a while back and they put me on some strong stuff. Yeah, no, no, I'll be all right. You see that now, but when you're crawling the walls at four in the morning. Yeah, well, I'll ring you. What about the prescribed anyway? Yeah, they were, I think Eva's put them in the kitchen. They're, um, they're probably on top of the fridge. Oh, yeah, found them. Are these in a basically souped up paracetamol, Billy? Didn't touch the size for me when I used them, but, uh, seeing as you're okay, Harbun, I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. Seriously, I thought if there's anything I can do. No, I think between Eva and Summer and Eileen, we've got it covered. 
How are you going to manage at the office without him? Don't you worry about that. Just concentrate on getting better, yeah? No, right? Mm. Um, you know those painkillers you mentioned? How strong are they? Because these things that I'm on, they might as well be a placebo. They're the trick for me. Actually, I've got some left over in the flat. Yeah. I'll get them if you're desperate. <clears throat> um, can I? Can I text you later on and maybe you could drop them round? I, I just... I don't want Eileen knowing. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, Pete, two more when you're ready, please. Sure. Come in. What are you playing at? I can barely look at Billy all of a sudden your best mates with him. Do you not think he's been through enough considering what you did to him at Christmas? No, I don't, but I agreed to let it lie. We all did. Right. Well, I don't want to keep you waiting, so I've just bobbed some on. Bob some on? You look like you should be accepting an Oscar. Come on, handsome pants. Mwah. See you later. Yeah, good fun. <clears throat> Take your time. I was going to rush across the room, but now you've said that. <laughs> Can you, um, could you get that? Sure. Thanks. Hello? Hey, it's Adam. Is Billy about? It's Adam. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Come up. It's like learning to ride a bike. Yeah. Oh. You'll get there. Part of the problem is your muscles have gone to sleep. But in a few weeks' time, you'll be like Arnie Schwarzenegger in his prime. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a good or a bad thing. Oh. If you're all right, I'll be off. OK. You don't mind if I don't see you out? You're going to need that sense of humour. See you next time. Thanks, Linda. Hey, hey, just thought I'd pop by and see how you are. <clears throat> Still in pain? Yeah, just a bit. I've got some more pills. I'm not sure if they've been working. Well, I've still got a few left from the last lot, so... Well, uh, see these as well. No harm if they're seeing you through. Ah, uh, no, I'll, I'll just stick with what I've got. Thanks. OK. Well, you know where I am if you change your mind. Anything else I can do? No, I don't think so. Oh, uh, the laundry's a bit beyond me at the moment, so I must strip the beds, but she didn't have time to put a wash on before school. I'll do it if you want. You? Yeah. I can't operate a washing machine. No, oh, someone will do it later. Hey, she's got enough on her plate. I, honestly, no. It's fine. 40 degrees or 60 uh, degrees? Normally do it on 60. Consider it done. Fuck up. Hey. Got back as soon as I could. How'd your physio go? Yeah, it was OK. You did the washing and put on another load. How'd you manage? With a little help from his friends. Just giving the bathroom the once over. You know I can do all that. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm happy to help. No, really, I can take over from here. I mean, thanks to Nat and everything, but we can manage, can't we? Well, you can. OK, well, uh, if you insist, I'll just go out my coat and hit the road, OK? Thanks for everything, Adam. Don't worry about it. These rubber gloves are no easy to get off, I tell you. Right. You guys need anything, you give me a call, all right? Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, come here. That was a little bit rude, considering everything he's just done. Yeah, but we don't need him. Yeah, but he's only trying to help. Look, I'm here now. Tea? Yeah, go on. You should have repetitive strain about the text you sent me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't apologise, you're obviously in pain. Yeah. Now you told me I should lay off the strong stuff, but... Don't worry about it. You shouldn't have to suffer. You're obviously suffering, aren't you? <laughs> she saw you coming. Yeah, well, you have to speculate to accumulate. Just don't let her take advantage of you. She could be very demanding, aren't Tracy? Right. Well, it's not my first rodeo, but thanks for your concern. You have a visitor. I'll leave you to it. What do you want? Your help. I 
I'm sorry things are difficult. But I'm not looking for sympathy. Can you help me or not? For the last time, there are no outstanding wages. How is that possible? Todd worked all the hours under the sun for you. That's the nature of the gig. Yeah, you work long hours, but so do I. Look, I, I'm not looking for a handout. I'm just asking for what's owed to him. Billy, nothing is owed. What, you saying I'm lying? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past you. You really want to do this now? All I'm saying is you're hardly a saint. Well, and you are. Sorry, how's the rehab going again? I was only there because you got me hooked on painkillers. You left me and my mother to die. And you've been making me pay for it ever since. And I've enjoyed every second of it. It was you, wasn't it? Speaking to Geraldine. Why would you do that? She deserved to know what kind of man her granddaughter was living with. So it wasn't enough for you to turn me into a drug addict? You had to tear my whole family apart as well? I lost Todd because of Geraldine. Whatever you thought of me, he was your friend. He stopped being my friend the minute he covered for a murderer. You know, we could tear chunks out of each other, but that is not going to make someone trust me again, let alone keep a roof over her head, so... I'm sorry for wasting your time. In fact, I am sorry for everything, Adam. Oh, I, um, I forgot to mention... I might be getting myself a part-time job at the chip shop. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you're serious? Mm, yeah, well, I've got some spare time. I could certainly do with the spare cash. Yeah, but you're a vicar. Uh, yeah, if the food service industry was good enough for Jesus, then it's good enough for me. According to Matthew 14, he fed the 5,000 with a few loaves of bread and two fish. Yeah, except the fish went back to Zeke Brown Curry and Curry Souls. Mm, yeah. Billy! Hi. I wouldn't be surprised if you are. Oh, what is she on about? I've got no clue. Me and Billy need a private word. No, I've got nothing to hide from Summer. Really? Does that include your little heroin habit? Health retreat? My backside? Tracy. Save it. I don't want some addicts living above my shop. Well, we just leave him alone. He had a problem and now he's dealing with it. She knows you're a junkie. Oh, well, this just gets better and better. No, he's not a junkie. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Consider yourself evicted. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. You can't just throw us out. You're three months in arrears, Billy. I can do what I like. Well, technically, that's not true. Oh, shut up. Nobody asked you. Three months? Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, I, I was going to. Look, just move your stuff out and we can talk about the money separately. I'm sorry, no. Billy, I am trying to be reasonable. Reasonable? You think it's reasonable to just... Ambush me like this. What's all this? I'm not going to ask you again. Billy's right. This is out of order. I want him out of my property. Why are you being like this? Why? Because for all I know, you might have been shooting up while Amy was there. I never used once while she was there. Not once, I swear. Oh, and you want a medal for that? That's not what I meant. You make me sick, Billy. What, did you use your dog collar to tie around your needle arm? Come on, that's enough. Only an hour or so. You brought it on yourself. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Come on, let's go get your chocolate, yeah? I'll give you a hand. Thanks. 